Hello, everyone. Uh, this is the lecture five or week number five lecture video for introduction to computer science. <clears throat> I am sharing the uh, blackboard uh, for the week number five with you. And as usual, uh, we have the objective, the instruction material, uh, including the lesson plan and the assignments. Um, <clears throat> I am going to follow the lesson plan here uh, that I have updated a few minutes ago and uh, in, a, in a minute. Uh, but before leaving this uh, blackboard, uh, let's just go to the assignments real quick and see what's up there. So there are three assignments here that I posted. I will talk about them a little bit more in detail uh, in a minute. Let me bring up the lesson plan. This is the lesson plan for today, uh, this, this week. Uh, I will go over them uh, briefly, and uh, <clears throat> you can access them through the Blackboard. A couple of the administrative notes. Um, this is week number five, uh, which means that we are uh, starting the second half of the term. Uh, this is an accelerated course, and therefore things are mov moving pretty fast. And so if you need to catch up on things, uh, now is the time. Uh, before you know it, uh, uh, it'll be over. I sent out an uh, announcement last week um, uh, providing you some uh, in, uh, options for receiving tutoring services, so utilize it as you need them. Uh, just a reminder of the lecture video uh, that due to the only one giger, uh, gigabyte uh, Blackboard limitation, uh, I am forced to uh, remove uh, the previous weeks, um, as I have told you already. So. Uh, make sure you view them uh, during the week that is assigned. And if you need to, uh, make sure you download them before they are removed. Uh, goals for this week, number five. Uh, there are three um, uh, goals that we want to do. One of them is the Zybook Chapter 7, which deals with strings. Uh, and then, uh, so do them. And then secondly, uh, Zybook Chapter 8, which deals with lists. And then uh, interesting and fun exercise for you to do a uh, like a research uh, assignment on how to build a, a PC. So this assignment is asking that you're given a budget of $1,000 and ask you to come up with a shopping list of everything that you need to put together a, uh, a, a Windows machine uh, from making it uh, from scratch. So you need to make a list of what you need and uh, 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 provide me with a list of uh, where you are getting them, uh, what you're getting, and how much they are. Okay, so uh, if you have never done this, uh, there's a, a, a good video that you can watch, and there are a whole bunch of other videos you can look and stuff. So um, you can also refer to the textbook chapter five uh, in these pages. Um, for the uh, let me now go over a little bit of the Zybook Chapter 7 and 8. And um, so for Chapter 7, uh, it deals with a string. Uh, so what's a string? Well, a string is a list of characters that user usually puts in, or you can uh, provide, uh, set it as a, whatever you want it to be, um, such as like when you ask for a user's name, like John or Mary or whatever, right? So uh, that's a string. Um, they're you know simple uh, way. They're complicated strings, but you know a, a regular ordinary string, right? And what's the purpose of uh, this string assignment? Well, you can uh, manipulate particular um, uh, position within that uh, character so that you can uh, manipulate what it, what's inside, right? So uh, let's say here, um, like a phone number, let's say. Uh, when a user enters a phone number, it's in, accepted as if it is accepted as a character, then you can uh, remove the dashes, or you can insert the dashes, or uh, things like that. So here, um, it shows you or maybe user's name. Uh, one, you know, you can um, uh, change the casing of a string, uh, whatever's inside, and do all kinds of things, right? So, like for example, here, if the user puts in this, uh, this as a string, all right. 
uh, you can access them uh, character by character within that string uh, to do whatever you wanted to do, right? But uh, so you can refer it to them. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. And this is actually from the Zybook. Uh, so you can uh, refer to them, uh, each character here in, in a slot. Um, but notice that it begins with the index begins from a zero. Uh, this is the index. This is the actual uh, string, uh, zero rather than one. You can set it to a start at one, uh, but we'll talk about that later if we need to, right? But the default is it starts at zero. So you can refer uh, reference them and get only from zero to two, uh, and uh, that will be uh, whatever uh, this happens to be here uh, with that uh, string name, right? You can also... Uh, you know, get it longer if you want to, uh, or you can get only segment of that. Um, and, so, and then, you know, you can print them if you like. Uh, so that's kind of like what you can do with that. So if you go to the Zybook here, this is uh, what uh, that is kind of talking about, right? So it's kind of interesting. Uh, the other thing is the um, there are a few side notes on what you can do with the string. The list is another useful feature in the programming uh, that is not just unique to Python, but you know all general programming languages. So you can um, let me go back to the notes here. So it's similar to uh, a, a string, uh, but you know more than just a, a character in, in its data form. Uh, you can have other items in there, such as a number or floating or whatever you want to have, right? So, for example, which is here, you can have a, uh, a list of hello numbers negative 4.2 and a 5. Uh, so, you know, you can have a whole bunch of different data types. And you can store, you know, when you reference them or when you define them as such, it, it gives a list of them. And you can refer to them by subscript or index, right? So uh, the zero uh, index would refer to the hello the one index will refer to the second, and, and so on and so forth. Well, uh, what's the use of this? Well, uh, the the one major use of the uh, list is so that you can do sorting, sorting of a, a name, a phone number, uh, or whatever you know, sorting that you want to do. And this is a huge uh, use, right? So you can sort the uh, list of items according to the alphabetical order, or ascending order, descending order, all of that, right? So. Uh, you can uh, see a lot of the implications and use of that uh, in, in sorting here, right? So uh, this is the uh, 8.9 sorting uh, participation activity. So make sure you do that. Um, one side comment that I wanted to, a uh, few things that I wanted to point out is that, I think I put it in the, here. So if you wanted these, to see some, uh, examples of this sorting thing, uh, or as you said, removing uh, punctuations and whatnot. I think this should be in string. But anyway, uh, I gave a, a link over there, and you can go to, this is a one a good example a lot, of, a lot of people tend to be using. So this is a, a program is.com, and has some examples. And here's one example about how to uh, remove the punctuation mark uh, when a user enters a string like this. So, uh, or you can add a punctuation mark if you need to, right? So, uh, you know, take a look at that. Um, I did not show to you the syllabus of where we are, uh, but here uh, we are week number five. So we got about three more weeks to go and then it'll be the last week, right? So um, just wanted to show uh, how we're progressing. Well, uh, that sort of wraps it up for um, we, this week, so just kind of uh, wrapping it up, um, the, I'll uh, upload the uh, updated lesson plan for you after this uh, video is recorded. Uh, but this is week number five, tutoring service, lecture video, talk a little bit about those two things and an interesting uh, activity for you. So uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just looking forward to receiving if you have any uh, questions or feel free to join me on my weekly uh, lesson uh, office hours that's already posted on Wednesday nights and the Saturday afternoon. Otherwise, uh, utilize your, um, uh, leverage your uh, touring services.
uh, that should be good, and I look forward to receiving your work. Uh, okay, I'm stopping now.